no gun, ain't got no knife. Don't you start no fight, cause I'm... Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. This week's video is also brought to you by Whisper Sync for Voice, an Amazon and Audible innovation. So, is it a boombox? Or... A boombox! It's kind of weird, after spending two weeks off, I feel like I need to reacquaint myself with my shop somehow. But, I'll get started with this table saw. I'm building the enclosure out of plywood. I'm gonna start to assemble this by gluing on the back and the two sides to the bottom. And I'll tack them into place using my brad nailer. It was kind of fun going to the hardware store and finding assorted pieces that kind of will help make the box look authentic. This metal plate I'll use for the two wing nuts to hold the top on. I don't want these pieces to look shiny and new, so I'm gonna spray paint them. I'll use that metal piece as a template for drilling holes in this top. On a real plunger, these two wing nuts are what the wires attach to. On mine, it's what holds the top in place and it just looks cool. The plunger is gonna set back here someplace, so I'll just kind of eyeball where that goes and drill a hole. I'm gonna drill a hole through this dowel to use for the handle for the plunger. So that'll go through this threaded rod and get a nut on top. I'm making these really thin strips to look like metal edging. A few months ago when I was at the Maker Fair, I met these guys who have this company called Trash Amps who make and sell these DIY amplifier kits and I thought they were really cool so I bought a kit. They're not sponsoring this video but I thought you'd like to know in case you want to build your own. All the kits come with a printed circuit board like this one. First I'll solder in this jack. The kit comes with these LED lights, but I don't think I'm gonna use those on mine. This is the toggle switch. These kits all come with a battery holder, or you could use one of these rechargeable batteries that you plug into a USB port. And that's all the soldering that's needed. Now I can work on attaching this to the face. It was really cool of these guys to make up this template for me to know where to drill the holes. I'm only gonna use the holes for the switch and the input jack, and then I'll cut a hole for the speaker. The speaker goes on the back like that. I'm gonna use some steel mesh to protect it. I think it'll be easiest if I mostly paint these pieces now. First I'm spraying on a dark red, then I'm gonna hit it lightly with some black. Now I can start to assemble these components. First I'll put the speaker on. I'm gonna epoxy this battery holder into place rather than try to screw it. And the switch and the jack will just drop into those holes. I painted both of these pieces black too, so they would be less obtrusive. And finally I can plug the speaker in here. Now I can glue and tack the face into place. I need these bolts to stay in place, so I'm gonna epoxy them in from the inside. So to use it, I'll plug this cord into the jack and plug it into my phone. And let's play some music. Turn the switch on. It's got a great, deep, rich sound to it. You can also use this adapter to plug it into a guitar. 
I'll bet you're also thinking how good this would be for listening to books from audible.com. This week I want to talk to you about a brand new product from Amazon and Audible called Whisper Sync for Voice. For those of us who love to read, one of the biggest challenges we face is just finding the time to read. Of course, audiobooks help out a lot. We can listen to them while we're in our shops or driving in our cars, but there's other times, say at night when you're in bed, when you just want to curl up and read actual words. The best of both worlds would be to have the ebook Kindle version and the audio version. And that's exactly what WhisperSync does. You can play the audio version of the book. But the Sultan ordered that the stranger should be admitted. Pause it. Then when you want to switch over to the written version, press that button and it'll highlight exactly where you left off and you can continue reading. If you don't have a Kindle reader, no problem. Just download the Kindle app for your iPhone or Android. I want you to learn more about WhisperSync for Voice by going to amazon.com slash woodworkingsteve. That's amazon.com slash woodworkingsteve. How do you like to read? Where are some great places to listen to audiobooks and where do you prefer to actually read a book? Let me know down in the comments. And I want to thank Amazon and Audible for sponsoring this week's episode of Woodworking for Beer Mortals. I think one thing that would be really cool on this project would be to make it so that it turns on and off by pressing the plunger up and down. I didn't really know how to do that, so I just left it as a handle. If you'd like to make your own boom box, check down below for a free set of plans. If you enjoyed this project, check out my video on how you can make your own portable TARDIS from Doctor Who. Whatever you do, don't blink. One of my most requested projects ever. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Woodworking for Mere Mortals. If you haven't already done so, please take a moment to subscribe. I have new woodworking videos every Friday. And please visit the Woodworking for Mere Mortals website at formeremortals.net where you can download tons of free plans and post pictures of your own projects. You can keep up to date with news and events and all things Mere Mortals by subscribing to my second channel, Mere Minutes. Have a great week, everybody. I'll see you next Friday.